Senate Bill number 312 by Senator Mound. It's an act amending Title 40, Reality Water Fluoridation Program to provide for funding, to provide for reporting, and to provide for exemptions. And Senator Marino sends up technical members on behalf of the Legislative Bureau and moves adoption of the same. Is there any objection to the amendments? Hearing no objection, the amendments adopted. Now, Senator Mount sends up a set of technical amendments on recommendation of the Legislative Bureau note and moves adoption of those. Is there any objection to the amendments? Hearing no objection, the amendments adopted. Senator Mallory, amendments? Which one do you want? Um, whichever one's first, the 2400? Yes, ma'am. Senator Mount sends up amendments. The first set is set number 2400. 2400 is one amendment on page 2, line 11, after similar and before the comma insert means. Okay, Mr. Acting President, members, again, uh, on page 2, line 11, if you uh, have the bill in front of you, we would just, after similar... Uh, and before the period, just insert means and grants or similar means as available. So again, as we talk about or get the bill in the posture so that we can talk about the whole water fluoridation bill, if there's no objection, I'll offer up that amendment. Senator DeMount moves adoption of the amendment. Is there any objection? Here, no objection. The amendment is adopted. Senator Mount sends up a next set of amendments are 2527. Set 2527 is three amendments. The first one is on page one, line two after B, and the comma, insert and G. Senator Mr. Mount. Mr. Acting President, members, again, on this particular amendment of the, the technical amendments on one and two, and then when you go to three on page three, between lines seven and eight, we're going to insert a G and making sure that we're included but not limited to minimum levels of fluoride required in public water systems. There's no objection. I'll offer up that amendment. Senator Mount moves adoption of the amendment. Is there any objection to the amendment? Hearing no obje objection, the amendment is adopted. Okay, Mr. Acting President, members, Senate Bill 312 is, is referencing community water fluoridation. Provisions in current law already encourage Louisiana communities to fluoridate, uh, to fluoridate and those things have continued on is just under the auspice of encouraging, but that has met with minimal success. This bill, Senate Bill 312, would amend the current law to require all Louisiana water systems with 5,000 or more service connections to fluoridate to optimal levels. Those systems not currently at optimal levels would not have to comply until the state has identified and made available funds for the initial expense but they would have to submit the cost estimates to the Department of Health and Hospitals. So that is very important for you, for you to know and to hear. They're, they're not going to be required to do that, but they are going to be required to at least submit the estimates and the cost of the equipment uh, once the, the funding is available through the state. This would at least get Louisiana on the road to providing a substantial health benefit to its citizens and ultimately realizing substantial, substantial savings in health care costs. Fluoridation is safe, effective, and economical in preventing tooth decay, and yet today about 67% of the citizens of Louisiana do not have ready access to optimally fluoridated water. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention has proclaimed community water fluoridation as one of 10 great public health achievements of the 20th century. Fluoridation in a community public health measure that saves money, and that's really the key. It saves money for every community. Every $1 invested in water fluoridation saves $38 in dental treatment costs. So think about that. This is a great opportunity for us to take the next step forward. A study conducted in Louisiana has shown that children who live in communities without fluoridation are three times more likely to end up in the hospital to undergo dental surgery. Fluoridation improves the quality of life and saves vast sums of money in dental treatment costs. Leading public health groups such as the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the American Med Medical Association, the American Dental Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics and Dentistry all support this bill along, of course, with DHH. If there are no questions, I move final passage. Senator Mallory, is there further discussion on the bill? 
No further discussion on bill. Senator Mount moves final pass of the bill. Therefore, all those in favor of the bill vote yay. All those opposed vote nay. Mr. Secretary, open the machine. Members, vote your machines. Senator Cassidy, yes. Senator Heitmeyer, yes. Sen Senator Donahue, yes. Senator Dupre, yes. Senator Gotro, yes. Nick Gotro, yes. Members, are you through voting? Members, are you through voting? Mr. Secretary, close the machine. 36 yeas and zero nays. And the bill is finally passed. And Senator Mount moves, uh, moves to reconsider the vote by which the bill was finally passed and lays that motion on the table without objection. So, so order. Senator Mount moves that we open the uh, machines for co-authors. Mr. Secretary, open the machines. Members, vote your machine. Co-authors. Co-authors. Nick Gotro, yes. Senator Heitmeyer, yes. Senator Jackson, yes. Senator Cassidy, yes. Senator Donahue, yes. Senator Dupre, yes. Are you through voting? Mr. Secretary, close the machine. 32 uh, co-authors. Senator Bell, number four.